Hey guys, it's Nicole with Afraid Not, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fun patriotic faith DIY using some essential stencils, a frame I picked up at Hobby Lobby, the patriotic floral transfer from essential stencil, and of course some AFK chalk paint. So first I'm just kind of going through the patriotic floral transfers that again are from Essential Stencil and just kind of cutting out the ones that I like. If you're interested in Essential Stencil products, just comment the word Essential Stencil and we will send you a link to your inbox so you can go check them out along with the coupon code. So just comment Essential Stencil. The first thing I'm doing is just taking the back of the frame off and the board was pretty thick. So we're gonna go ahead and just use it as our surface. So I just gave the artwork that's on the board a little bit of a sanding. I just kind of sanded it down. Now I've decided that I want to go ahead and use the big transfer on this patriotic floral from Essential Stencil. And I'm just kind of cutting it down to size. And I've decided on the stencil I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the word faith on this particular stencil. I like the sizing of it. And so I'm going to put it down in the bottom corner there. You'll see in a minute. So I'm first starting to base paint this surface with the color sunset. So you're going to see me just put a whole coat of sunset onto this surface right here. Just getting a whole coat on there. And then go ahead and just let that dry. If you have a hair dryer or a heat tool, just go ahead and help it dry or let it air dry on its own, whichever is easiest for you. And then what I'm going to do is add a little bit more. So I just felt like it needed a little bit more. Once the paint dries, you can see if it's too thin in certain areas. Now I'm sizing up my uh, transfer, my patriotic transfer, just to see where I want the placement to be at on the board. And then I'm cutting it down a little bit more. We don't need that excess paper there. So once I've kind of sized this up and laid it out, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and layer some more colors onto this board. I wasn't crazy about the color sunset with it after all. So I decided to just layer a couple more colors. And the first one I started with was cotton. So I got a brush, a brushing of cotton on there. And then I went ahead and gave it a dry and I decided to go ahead and layer teepee on top of it also. So I'm just doing a dry brushing of teepee right over the cotton and I just have a layering of colors, of the paint colors. And I really like the way that this turned out. So once I got them on there to my liking, I just went with it. I gave it a dry. You can see the TP is just dry brushed over the cotton, which is dry brushed over the sunset. And I like the layering of colors. So next we're going to go ahead and peel the backing off of our transfer. And you see, I'm just placing it down onto my surface, my painted surface. You want to make sure that your paint is dry and then I'm just giving it a nice rub. So the nice thing Essential Stencil provides this little scraper and I'm just using the scraper. If you don't have a scraper, you can use an old credit card, um, a piece of cardboard, anything that you have that's going to be sturdy enough to scrape. So I just go over the entire transfer and just scrape it down right on top of that plastic. So you see I'm peeling the plastic back slowly. I peel the plastic back nice and slowly so you can see if your transfer is lifting and then you just lay the plastic right back down over it and scrape a little bit more. So I do this for the entire transfer and then I start in a corner and just peel it back slowly until I have peeled that whole plastic transfer portion off and my artwork is stuck down to my surface just like you see here. That looks beautiful. I absolutely love working with their transfers and I love the way this looks. So next I'm going to take the word faith and the color midnight in AFK chalk paint. And I am just going to stencil the word faith only in the bottom left corner. 
as you see me doing right here. So with the stenciling, again, you want to make sure that you offload as much paint as possible. You want to do this with a totally dry brush so you don't get any bleeding coming through. So here we have it. This was a relatively easy and quick project. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. So now what we're gonna do is just kind of clean up a little bit and we're gonna place it right back into our frame. As easy as that, just find a frame that you absolutely love and you can make the same project too. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure and follow me for more fun and easy DIYs. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.